Hey, I'm Mike Meadows from Swan Percussion, uh, here for Steve Weiss Music Online. And I'm going to show you a couple of the new things that we came out here uh, with uh, at, at PASIC. Um, this cajon that I'm sitting on is part of our new Artisan series. It's a limited edition series that we're making with uh, different hardwood veneers on the outside and inside. This particular one is a uh, Mac Ebony, and on the inside is maple with birch plies in between. Um, I'll play it a little bit and show you what it what it sounds like. Now, this is the same uh, height and design as our Corsoba Deluxe Cajon. So it's got the four guitar strings on the inside, but they're all, uh, you can change the tension with the mandolin tuning pegs, and uh, it also has um, a system inside where you can take the strings off or on in pairs, and you can actually change the strings. So you can try different diameters of guitar strings and sort of customize it yourself. It also has three playing surfaces. So aside from that snare side, there's the non-snare side as well. And then there's the variable panel, which is more of a piccolo sound. Uh, as with all of our cajones, it also accepts our bass drum pedal bracket. So you can see here, it's got some anchors, and that's what fits on it right here, what's on the black swan. You can see there's a long black metal piece, and so that allows for the placement of any bass drum pedal on any side of our cajon, and you can put it anywhere you want to. And again, the bass drum pedal bracket works on any of our cajons. Now, these are also a limited edition series. We only do 20 in each type of wood per year, and then each year we're gonna switch to different types of wood. So on the bottom, you can see, it actually says, right here, it tells what number it is. So this is number one of 20 different models that we'll have. So each one is also going to be a collector's piece. Now we also have a new design of Cajon, and that's our Flamenco Cajon. It's a lot shorter than the Corsoba, and it's also narrower. Now the Corsoba was designed uh, for all kinds of different styles, like a, a lot of different variety. And it's taller so that you can use it as a drum throne with a drum set. Most cajones on the market are, are a lot shorter. This was specifically designed so you could also have it, use it as a drum throne and go back and forth. Now this one is more designed to, to get some of the flamenco style. So it's got, instead of the four strings on the inside, it actually has eight strings on the inside. And again, they're all fully adjustable and interchangeable. Much more focused in sound, um, still has a nice bass tone to it, but, but uh, not too much resonance in the bass, so it's a lot more focused. Now it also has a, it doesn't have an interchangeable panel, but it does have a thinner cutout on the inside, so you can get that piccolo sound happening on this drum as well. And you may notice there's also these ridges right here, so those are created so you can get a wiro sound as well. So you can use it in a lot of different ways. And again, this is our flamenco cajon. It's one of our, our newer cajons in the line. You can also see we have in the booth sort of new varieties. This uh, black stain is one of our new ones. And then we also have the, uh, the pinstriping back here. We still carry the natural ones as well, but again, we're just sort of mixing up some of the different stains and, and different styles. Now, in the shaker, We've got some different shakers now. We've got the Micro, which is about half the size of the Mini. So you can see the Mini here next to the Micro. And it's hardwood with a ply top on it. So it has a different sound with each side that you turn it. You can also lay them down flat and get a lot of staccato sound. So you can play it like this. So you can really mix it up. They're also designed to be 
stackable, so you can stack them with minis or other ones. You can even mix it up and put them on with a fixed to get different sound varieties. They're also circular inside, just like the other shakers as well, to allow to get like a, a nice smooth ambient sound. Now, the newest in the shaker line, coming out with the Vera box. This is brand new this weekend. And um, this one has some seeds inside of it, so it's very soft. And again, you can turn it different ways, play it staccato, stack it together with other shakers. But it's also uh, got some interesting features. It's um, got a slide right here. And so that allows you to not only change the filler, but it makes it a wood block. So not only a wood block, but a tunable wood block. <clears throat> now you can see again, it also has the Wiro edges on it. Two different cuts, a thicker and a thinner. And because of the slide, you can also tune the sound of the Wiro. So you can get into some really interesting effects. And again, this is called the Vera box. Now the knock box is another one that we have. And this one is, uh, this is in a, a prototype stain. A lot of times they're, they're natural, but we're going to be coming out with some different stains as well on these. And uh, this is designed so that you can plug it in to a PA or an amp, any quarter inch cable. So you can stomp on it and get like a kick drum type sound, but you can also EQ it to sound more like a wood block or sort of anywhere in between. It's got some interesting features as well. You can take it and you can also take the heel rest and it folds into the heel rest, protects the end pin jack. So that makes it really easy to travel with. It lays, weighs less than a pound and um, is, is super versatile. Now you can also take it out of the uh, heel rest. Let me show you that now. So now you can use it as a hand percussion instrument. Now, aside from the acoustic qualities that this has, you can also use it as a trigger. So if you have like a, like a hand sonic or any sort of, uh, sort of uh, digital sounds or sampled sounds that you want to trigger, you can trigger it with the knockbox. It's super sensitive, so it's really good for uh, dynamic variety in, uh, in any of that stuff that you might have. So those are some of the new things over here at Swan. And again, I'm Mike Meadows from Swan Percussion here at PASIC 2012 in Austin, Texas. Thanks for taking the time to check out this video, and hopefully we'll see you again soon.